this video we're going to look at a change event in Excel VBA and more specifically a change event for a specific column on our worksheet. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a small data set of loan records and each time I enter a new loan record at the bottom of this data set what will happen is once I input the final loan amount in column D this data will automatically get resorted so I'm gonna add a new record here so when I input the loan amount for this new record this should get sorted first by the branch location and then second by the loan type so this record should end up on row 3 once I input the loan amount and there it is so the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window you can do that by hitting alt F11 on your keyboard or going to the developer ribbon and clicking the visual basic button now normally I would right click in this project window go to insert and then module but this is a change event and it's something that is specific to our worksheet so I'm gonna double click on our records worksheet in this first drop down menu I'm gonna select worksheet and the first thing that will automatically appear here is the default change event code and this is not the type of change event we want this is a selection change meaning that anytime a cell is selected this code will execute what we want is to select from the second drop down list and just select change so I'm gonna get rid of this default subroutine so now we have the worksheet change code and this has a built-in variable called target that is of the data type range and what this will do is this target represents right now any cell on our sheet where a change is made so any code that we put in between this sub and in sub is what will run automatically anytime a cell gets edited so we don't want that we want something more specific for just column D and what kind of code we want to run is a sort of our data range in columns A through D anytime an edit is made to column D which is the loan amount column so what I'm gonna do is add a second subroutine we'll call sort range and this is just gonna be just that code that sorts our columns A through D and then what we're gonna do up here is call this sort range subroutine so we're gonna have a variable for our workbook it's gonna be as the data type workbook Gonna have one for worksheet. Gonna be as the data type worksheet. Gonna set our workbook equal to this workbook. Gonna set our worksheet equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets. And the name of our sheet is called records. So We're going to reference our worksheet and then the range we want to sort which is columns A through D we're going to use the sort method and that has inputs for the first column we want to sort which is called key one and what we want to do on our sheet is first sort by column B the location and then second by the loan type so when we're referencing a column for our key one 
you do not have to reference the full column. You can reference any single cell in that column. So that's what we'll do. Most folks just use the first cell. So we'll use cell B1. We have the order we want that in. So this is called order one as the parameter and we want XL ascending. So I'm gonna do a similar thing for our second column. So I'm gonna copy this hit comma. I'm going to come down on a new line, so I'm going to hit space and underscore to do that. Paste this in. We're going to change key one to key two. Our sort range reference is going to be C1 this time, and our order one is going to be changed to order two for our second sort. The only other thing I want to specify here is that we have headers, so I'm going to use the keyword header and then Excel yes. So that is everything for this subroutine here. So now we have our change event subroutine. So we want to make a make this so that only column D will you know edits in column D will cause this code to run. So we have an if condition. We have if our target column number equals four. And now there's a few other things we want to make sure that happens so that our code runs. One, we don't want um, the code to run if we make an edit to our header. So we need to specify that our target row number is not equal to row one. We also want to make sure that we don't accidentally key in a loan amount before we key in amounts in columns A through C of whatever row we're on because it will sort the data without any information here. So we want to specify that as well. So we have another and, and then we're going to use the cells range reference. And for our row input, that's going to be our target and then row to return that row number of whatever cell gets edited. We'll start with column one and then the value we want to make sure it's not equal to nothing. Now I'm going to copy this two more times for columns B and C and I want to come down on a new line so I'm going to hit space and underscore again. I'm going to change this to column 2 and then this to column three. We have everything we need for our if condition. So we have the keyword then. And then what we want to happen if all of these conditions are met is call our sort range subroutine. And then for our else condition, if one of these conditions is not met, we want to exit our subroutine. And then finally, we want to end our if statement. So we'll go back to our sheet and test this out. So I'm going to add an east branch auto loan this time. So this should appear up on row 9 once I input this data, and there it is. So this time I'm going to add a central branch record. I'll leave this column blank, and you 
you can see nothing happens because part of our condition was that this not be equal to blank for any of these. So one thing to keep in mind though is when I do input this, nothing's gonna happen because the edit was not made to column four there even though we have a value here. So I'd have to rekey this again and then it executes. So if I input another value down here and this time we'll just use central branch and business see it executes just fine well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe